Welcome. In front of me is a TCL406 and today I'll show you how you can hard reset this device through recovery mode. Now, that being said, this will also allow you to get rid of a screen lock. If you have one set that you don't know, this will completely remove it. Now, with that being said, uh, there is a little bit of a caveat to it. So if your device has a Google account signed into it and a screen lock, so just to showcase this, if you perform such a reset, the device will become FRP locked. And what that means, just to showcase, there is my account. So what that means is once the reset is completed, you will need to verify throughout the setup process uh, either the Google account that was previously signed in on this device or the screen lock that was used on this device. And if you know, don't know either one of those, uh, you simply won't be able to finish up the setup and therefore won't be able to use the device. Now with that uh, out of the way, I will be also afterwards recording a bypass for this. So for anyone who might have such a phone a locked one, FRP locked, uh, I'll be basically giving a step-by-step -step guide on how you can unlock it without providing either one of those, uh, those things. So if you're interested in that, stay tuned. That's going to be my next video. Now, uh, once the shameless plug is out of the way, let's uh, begin. So I'm going to lock the device and you can see I do have a screen lock set pattern specifically and I will progress from here as, don't, as though I don't know it. So we're going to first start off by holding our power button. We're going to select power off. And when the device turns off, you want to hold your power button and volume up at the same time. Though give it a couple of seconds once the screen goes black, uh, just so it can fully turn off. So from there, you want to hold both of the buttons. And when you see the TCL logo, which might take a little bit, there we go. You want to let go of the power button, but keep holding volume up. And from the recovery mode using volume buttons, you want to scroll down and select wipe data factory reset using your volume buttons. And once it's selected, you want to confirm it using your power button. Then select factory data reset. Again, confirm it. There we go. Data wipe complete. Now reboot system now will be selected by default. So all we need to do now is press power button once again. This will now initiate that said reboot, which will take uh, well, a little bit longer than a typical reboot because the reset is still being continued in the background. So the device will be turning on for just a little bit longer. But once it's finished doing whatever it's doing in the background, we will be presented with our Android setup screen. So I'll be back once that is visible for me. And as you can see, the process is now finished and you can set up your device however you like. So if you found this very helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe and thanks for watching.